Well, good Morgan. Mm. Very good. Hello, everyone. Everyone. Doing pretty well here. It feels quite excitable uh, in the uh, chat this morning. The lovely wedding photos, of course, yes. Uh, Nuna's beautiful family. His daughter got married. And the photos were on Facebook recently and were much enjoyed. Um, have you got someone whistling in your house there, Matty? No, that's my phone. I'm getting a bunch of WhatsApp messages from my family. Oh, I see. What, because they, they can see you on the telly now? Do they know you're on the Good Morning Portugal show? Or have you kept that aside? Yeah. They, you keep that quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no, so no. how's it all going for you my friend you don't look like you're on your quinta on no, I'm not. You look uh, like actually we, we were about to go about now yeah but uh since you asked yesterday to be on the show we postponed that and we will go after okay and uh yeah since my my girlfriend is over for for a visit i haven't been done much on my quinta this week Ah, yeah. I need. Well, I want to ask you about that. Um, your your girlfriend is it the first time she's seen the Quinta? Yes. And what does she make of it? She likes it. Unfortunately, when we went there on, I think it was Saturday, Friday. I don't remember. Um, Friday. Uh, I had forgotten the keys in Pombal. Isn't it, isn't, it a, a, isn't it part of it a ruin, though? You could just let yourself in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, 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 could, we could get on the land. Right. Just couldn't open my mobile home. So she did oh. see the land, and the neighbor's sheep were on my grass, so I couldn't leave the let the dogs out. So it was a rather short visit. Oh. So I hope, okay. I hope uh, we have a couple more hours today before right. we return to Pombal. And I can yes. do something. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm glad she likes it. If, if you could give everyone the backstory for those who are not familiar with you. Um, this is a wonderful project. You have found your dream plot and you are beginning your renovations of said plot and living the life you ideally wanted to live moving to Portugal, right? Yeah, it's, it's baby steps, really. Um, I was looking for the right property for more than a year. Uh, already, already started a year before I moved to, to Portugal to, to um, have an eye on the market and see what's available and the price ranges and whatnot. And I made uh, uh, a list of what I'm looking for um, in that uh, property. Um, so I wanted uh, a granite house. Um, I wanted uh, enough water on the land. It had to be more than a hectare. It needs to be close to the village, but not in the village. So uh, walking distance to a cafe and a supermarket and stuff like that. Um, so it was it was quite extensive and made it not easy to find the right thing. I also was looking around Pombal since I have uh, made a lot of connections already here, but it's not the area for Granite House. So. I, uh, I found the, the, what I think is the right place in, in, uh, in Castelo Branco district in uh, Lurisal de Campo. Yeah. And uh, the goal right now is to move as soon as possible on my property and out of my rental place here in Pombal. And after that, I need to look into how to generate some income because right now I don't have any. Right. Um, and that's not sustainable. <laughs> At some point, <laughs> the money will run out. So, but first, um, move out here and move in there. And then, step by step, uh, whatever I can do, it will be not fast, but I've uh, signed off on a quote for a solar system that might be delivered end of August, beginning oh. of September, something like that. Cool. And um, I've got a stonemason that will take care of the walls of my storage room i've decided to create i have uh, someone that will help me with a, a concrete floor in that room i will do a new roof on that part of the building and i need a door that's secure and preferably mice proof so good luck, then, with, that. Good luck <laughs> with that. You need a cat. You need a cat, mate. And I suppose your dogs won't be too happy about that, will they? Yeah, yeah. If 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 I get a cat, it needs to be a big cat. 
blanket. <laughs> what, like a leopard or a lion or something like that? <laughs> I can see you walking around central Portugal <laughs> with a lion <laughs> and your dogs, wolves and lions at your feet. <laughs> yeah, right. but um, yeah, that's that's the that's the goal because um, that that room I'm, I'm looking at is roughly 36 square meters, which should be enough for all my stuff to be stored until I'm done renovating the house and get everything sorted. Well, wow. so I mean, you are living the dream. I know it doesn't sound like it from that description, but this this is really your your and many other people's dreams. Let's face it: the YouTube channels that um, chronicle people coming to Portugal and renovating a ruin to live the good life are are, are, are many in number, and they 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 remain fascinating to people. Uh, yeah. And I understand why. You know, I, you you came up with a phrase just then, which I think really sums up what it is to be a gumper and a, a kind of lifestyle that many are aspiring to now which is near the village but not in the village that's almost a mentality as much as it is a physical description of where you want to live isn't it yeah i mean the i i've, I've told you before my 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 goal is in in the future to have um group sessions for the pain therapy of about 10 people yeah where it will be 10 people in in, in the group sessions and every one of them can bring their partner and kids or their partner and, and parents to stay on my land for that week or two weeks or three weeks or whatever they want to stay on. And so I needed enough space to be able to host like 40 people. And um, I'm, I'm not an entertainer. I'm not a tourist guide. So um, the idea is that I do the pain therapy thing and maybe a barbecue at the end of the week or whatever but the rest of the time they they need to entertain themselves i mean they can they can lay in the river or maybe i i will have a pool later um but there needs to be stuff they can do and yeah. and um, right in front of my house is a mountain bike trail nice uh, there is a public pool about two and a half kilometers from my house the cafe is about 1200 meters and there are three cafes in the village there is a mini supermarket um and you know fundal castello branco the marateca uh, uh, lake is not far away and there it's also nice to go there and and, and have a day on the beach so yeah. the the location i think is is great um the gadunia is behind my property you can you can hike up there if you want to and, and back and, and be in time for the evening sessions and i mean if if everything works out i will have about 10 like, caravans or something on my property and they can stay in there then fantastic and, um, and, and yeah. we, there were concerns matty about the amount of work you'd taken on you know you you described the project to us here in this community and people were saying be careful don't overdo it now, I know you're you're a structured and logical bloke, so presumably you have set out a work plan and you're not feeling over over faced by by the work. You've got a schedule now, have you? Um, yes and no. I mean, um, I am I am a little bit scared that I will run out of money before the, the renovation is done. Uh -huh. But um, like I said, the, the, the focus right now for me is get my ass over there permanently yes and and that's all I'm, I'm looking at i don't even think about how to renovate the big house yes. it's just about get there live there and make connections with my neighbors um learn portuguese better yeah. than, than i'm already speaking and get connected to the community and and, and make friends and and contacts and, and and stuff like that and um I, I don't know when i will start with the renovation of the of the house i mean that that storage room i was talking about is the first step because it's currently the only uh, um the only room that has a roof um, on any structure besides <laughs> my mobile home so um and and initially i thought i got uh, i gonna buy uh, shipping containers and use those as storage yeah but somebody asked me why you're not renovating one of the buildings to use as storage. First of all, if you buy st um, shipping container, you can use them as storage, but once you renovated your place, they're in the way and you need to get them off your property again. Yes, yes. And that makes a lot of, made a lot of sense for me. Why I'm in the shadow. 
I don't know. It's it's quite a nice shot though. It does look. It does, <laughs> it's it's very artistic. Maybe Godfather Five. I don't know. Um, well, I'm glad to I'm glad to to hear that you uh, you know you've had some good tips. The solar's going in, and you're getting to grips with the the realities yeah. of it. And um, that is always a concern for people, isn't it, with a renovation project, the budgeting making sure the work's still coming in of some sort to fund the whole thing because we live in a, a world where money is required, don't we? We're not... We're not we're, yeah, we're not and, and I, I, ideally, ideally, I want to do a lot of work myself, but I'm not a construction guy. I've, I've worked in offices basically all of my life. Yeah. I do have uh, learned the profession, um, which in Germany is called Elektromechaniker. So I learned quite a lot about house installation, electricity, uh, but also metal work, like, like welding and stuff. Oh, and very good. Okay. So I have, I have these basics, but I've never done anything with uh, cement or let, let alone granite stone buildings, roofs, whatever. Um, well, well we, you know, there's an income stream possibility. We, we talked to Lee there about doing the McGrady boot camp, and um, he brings a, a, a bunch of geeky nerdy types uh, who've never done any construction work they come to your property and th the first thing is they have to dig latrines and set up a camp and then he supervises them in, in the building work i mean i'd watch that and, and that you might get some money from the production company and you get a finished product thereafter yeah um no. well i'm I, I rather do the work myself i'm, I'm quite <laughs> Okay, fair enough. It's a no. It's a no from Matt. Um, well, you know, the, the, the thing is, I had, I, in, in Amsterdam, I had an apartment which was a fixer-upper. And many, many friends offered me, yeah, I can help you with this and with that. And the thing is, especially if it's friends that are helping, um, generally, you, you need to be thankful that they even show up and help you. Oh, right, yeah. So you're not in a position to criticize the quality of work. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, all right. So past pain dictating the future <laughs> there, I think. Uh, episode two, though, we could have Pete turning up with his comically large vegetables. You see, there's, there's a rich seam here in this community. Um, what you need is an engineer, um, says Lord Gilchrist, who re reminds us here that um, he offers free labour as well. He's quite handy with a power tool, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He is, to be fair. OK, and he's up for it. Um, get, him, get him away from his keyboard. Um, well, um, another another thing I noticed is um, you need um, a lot of pre preload time. I don't know how to say it right, but oh, you can't you can't decide. Okay, on Friday this week on Friday I want a stonemason. I call this yeah. guy and he should. That's does that doesn't work. You need a no couple of weeks a couple of weeks planning ahead. Yeah, for things yeah. to to happen. So, uh, and um, there is a certain way of doing things um, and, and sometimes um, one job needs to be done before the next one can start. Um, so, yeah, that's something I've, I've trying to learn and pick up. So I, I have, if all, if all goes well, I have in week 30, that's from 24th till 30th. I have the stonemason taking care of the walls, and Sounds after that, great. after that, I can arrange for the concrete floor, and after that, I have to take off the roof and get a new one, basically. Get a new roof. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, uh, project management is what you're talking about, isn't it? And so all these aspects of, of the renovation you're discovering um, as you go, and people can see the, the, the progress on... Uh, Andre Aguas, is that as as we see it on the screen, the name that you you're using um, yeah. to comment this morning? That's the uh, YouTube channel to subscribe yes. to, right, Matty? Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to post a, a video every week. It's not always uh, full of uh, progress on the farm, but I'm, I'm I'm trying my best. Yeah. Okay. And there are weeks that there's no progress because I might um, drove around to get prices for fencing materials and compare them and and. You know, I mean, I, I want quality stuff, but I don't want to pay the double expat price. No, fair enough, fair enough. So all of this to take into consideration. And um, this ultimately is where you want to be headed, I think. Louise has sent in a few pictures this morning. I think because we're, we're talking kin to crew and growing your own, 
And uh, Louise, thank you so much for your photos. You were a, a great contributor to the Get Out and Grow show. A couple of snaps of repairing terrace walls and the tomato harvest so far due to pull the, th the second crop of onions later this week. So bang on with the tomato and onion schedule. And some beautiful, um, it looks like the mason's been there possibly, but you might have done that yourself. I'm not sure, uh, Louise, there. But let's have a look at your tomatoes, so to speak. Um, th that's what you want to be working towards, isn't it, Matty, one day? Yeah, yeah. Look yeah. At that. Hey, tomatoes, uh, 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 what's it called, zucchini? Um, yeah, you're going to get plenty of zucchini. Always plenty of zucchini. Lettuce, uh, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, and um, here they are on the vine. Um, that's a beautiful sight, isn't it? You see the Portuguese, the central Portuguese sunshine blasting through the vines. And look at the size of that. Whoa, what a whopper. Is, uh, that right. a, is that a kid's hand or is this a big tomato? Ah, <laughs> yes. We know about these tricks, don't we? I think that's a grown-up hand. That is a grown-up hand with a massive tomato uh, right there. And here are some not connected with uh, Louise, I should hasten to add there. Solely finesse is in. Good morning to you, Bev and Dan as well. This is still coming up on my. As, uh, what I realised, Matty, um, and I, and your pain management therapy would have would be wonderful me, for me today, or any time from uh, yesterday morning. Basically, I played rounders on Sunday, and I overdid it in my m alpha male competitive. I didn't know I had that in me, but I really went for it, and I'm and I <laughs> my have hurt my knees and lower legs or strained them. I, mm -hmm. I was told I needed a sports bra. Uh, yesterday I discovered I needed toupee. I looked like a bloody monk swimming about in the water yesterday. As bald as a chimp's ass, basically, uh, once I'm in the water and the sun is shining on my bonds. And Google are telling me I need some of these. These are coming up in the ads now as well. Men's Triangle Anti-Embarrassment Per... I don't know. Can you finish that sentence for us, somebody, please? Men's Triangle Anti-Embarrassment Per... What is the end of that sentence? What are they trying to sell me? I mean, that doesn't look like anti-embarrassment. That looks like complete embarrassment if I rock up on the beach with them on, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, maybe they are for, for the head. I don't know. <laughs> That's not anti-embarrassment. <laughs> You're not helping. <laughs> right. I wasn't going to. <laughs> right. Uh, but I, I've got to go to eBay or Google Ads because I need, uh, I'm told, a sports bra. Uh, I need a belt because my, my shorts nearly fell down as I completed a home run. And that's not a euphemism. Um, that is actually. What, what, what did you do? I played rounders on Sunday. It was a charity. Do you know the game rounders? Like a no. bit like baseball. Well, I you, know you, baseball, but I don't yeah. know rounders. It's a bit. It's a bit like baseball, but it's, it's, it was mixed and all ability, all ages, which is the great thing about rounders. You can, everyone can get involved, and we did get involved. And you know, everyone's it's a charity match. Everyone's a bit easy going, and then suddenly the atmosphere changes as some people get a little bit competitive. I think that might be you. Would you be going for it, Matty? Of course. Yeah, I know. And there were blokes like you and women, actually, who uh, forgot it was a all ability charity match and got a little bit. Um... Yeah, but the, the, the nice thing about baseball is there is usually no contact except sliding for the bases, maybe. Well, but... it, it, there was a bit of contact uh, this uh, this match, and that might make more people want to join the club, actually, a bit of contact at first base. <laughs> Or was it second base? Anyway, um, there were there was a little You're bit. Still of... talking about the game, not the. the I am the still game. talking about the game. <laughs> I don't know what went on afterwards, but you know what expats are like when they get together after a few imperials. Um, so, anything else, Matty, to update us on? Um, Quinta Entreaguas. That's the YouTube oh, yeah. channel. You do need a bit of help, don't you? Basically, but I guess you need to vet that help and. Um, yeah, I, I I need to know. I first need to know what I want to do and how yeah. it needs to be done, and then okay, mate. I can I can have uh, help. But um, like I said, I've 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 basically solved the electricity issue. Funny thing is, there is a, a girl uh, not too far from Pombal. A friend of mine is using her for finding out stuff like red tape stuff in Portugal, cool. and I asked her to find out what the conditions are for farm um, energy, like electricity from EDP or whoever provides that and what would I need to get that and what would be the prices per kilowatt hour. And uh, she said, oh yeah, I, I can get that information for you and it will cost me about two hours and that's that much. And I said, okay, for two hours and that much, Get me the information, and that was uh, so. I see, she said, um, 
you, I need this and that information. So I send it to her. And that was the last I heard of her. <clears throat> and that was three weeks ago. Right. So <laughs> things are not that easy in Portugal, even for the Portuguese at times. No, that's right. And that's what makes TV shows about these things so exciting, isn't it? <laughs> these, yeah. these, the, the, the curveballs, the plot twists, and you need to be ready for that. Okay, um, we've got a few more um, greetings and comments about what you're doing, Matty, and uh, I think we'll have Jason joining us a little bit later on as well. Let's see what we're saying here. Oh, wheelie bins. Um, we have three coloured wheelie bins in Belfast. Black for your general rubbish, or a garbage if you're American. Uh, blue recycling paper plastic. Brown for gardening waste. It's so complicated and so ugly on the street, isn't it? Every house with its three wheelie bins. Put them out on the road. I think it's income generation. It's a way of finding people for not putting the right bin out on the right day, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Love the Dalek invasion. Um, reference over the heads of most from the states. Of course, yeah. Uh, sounds like that area of Lisbon is turning into Sicily uh, within... With an inadequate dust being a provision. Um, sorry. Uh, muito bem, obrigada. E o primeiro dia de nublado. Aqui mesmo, uh, mortais semanas. Gene, that Portuguese has come along beautifully. On parking, then, this is never going to happen in central Portugal. And I hope the dumps down the end of the street remains the way to go in central Portugal, not these uh, touristy places like San Martino de Porto. Paid parking in San Martino de Porto is good for tourism. In Peniche. Oh, yes. Um, I think I want to do the dad jokes with you, Matty, because I love it when the British and German senses of humour come together. Um, anyone if, would if be... You, if, you, if you ask the Dutch, the Germans don't have humour. Yes, I have heard this. Um, but I know that's not true. <laughs> it's just different. It's just different, isn't it? Anyone would be knackered working at the speed you lads were. <laughs> Very good. You are the not. Mark's in as well, who may or may not join us on the screen. He has embarked on a similar journey to you, Matty, isn't he? And others like Jason as well. So great to see you here, Mark. Anna C, good morning to uh, good morning to you. Lovely to see you here. Uh, Ruth and Camilla, great to see you both here as well. There's Matty's own greeting. There you go. And that's the YouTube channel, Quinta Entre Aguas. Settled on that name then. And greetings to you from Nubia Net, from Nunamed as well, and Bon dia, Matty, from Antonio F as well. Matty is uh, Lord Gilchrist's uh, greeting to you this morning. Do you still go to the man cave? Are you part of that? Yeah. Does it keep you sane? I guess that's not the hot, that's not the reason for it, is I've, it? I've never been sane, so... That's true. Okay, it keeps you insane, I suspect. <laughs> Bonjour, Carl, sorry, not been joining the show, but busy on the Hortus and repairing rain-damaged terraces. Please, can you remind me of your WhatsApp number? You found us. Ruth, there you are. There she is. Born dear to you with some sun from the capital. Thank you, Ruth. Great to see you. Jean, estou realmente, estudo a tentar. And I bet everyone, says Pete, is going to have a better day today than me. I have a truckload of, from a, a truckload of arriving at midday and an afternoon of shoveling it. But it is followed by my last lesson before a month and a half off. Oh, of Portuguese is that. You're breaking for the summer. Uh, once a teacher, always a teacher there. He's into his summer holidays soon. Um, trying to hear you crunching on toast. Ah, you want a Papa Seco if you don't want to have all that noise going on. Krusty Kazeda. Who doesn't like a Krusty Kazeda first thing in the morning? Ah, the summer holidays. And getting a summer vacation from school, Pete. I think he is. Um, he's quite the student, isn't he? A good reason to get the track to out. Question, question is, is it is it uh, a break of, of his lessons or is he having a break of teaching? Ah, probably a bit of both, right? I, I would have thought. Oh, no. I would have thought. Yeah, we'll see. Um, but that's a lifelong habits, I suspect, there. The uh, the stress of the terms and the nice, the nice long summer holiday, which I believe probably is getting shorter and shorter uh, for teachers around the world as we go to more of a semester systems. Um, yes, uh, there's the answer to this, uh, Joao. Uh, we've got two kittens now, um, and um, we have Sebastian and Oliver, which sound like people that uh, Lord Gilchrist went to school with at Eton, don't they? Sebastian and Oliver, the kittens. It's a bit posh for my liking, so Baz and Ollie. Um, in other situations, uh, Matty. Oh, yeah. So you the, you made a decision, um, and you won't regret it with Solar. So you are yeah. so. I'm, I'm, I'm using the the same company that Pete has had for his Solar system. Ah, very um, good. Yeah, and since the information I was looking for isn't, it can't be found or dug up. I had to pull the trigger and and ordered Solar. 
Okay, well done. Nice one. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that being installed on the YouTube channel as well. Bon dia from Jacqueline Branco. Good morning to you, Jacqueline. Uh, great to meet you on Sunday. I'm still aching uh, from what we did together, Jacqueline. The rounders, everybody. Uh, lo love this. I don't know who that is, Facebook user, but you're loving it anyway, which is great. Uh, getting a new roof, Matty, is not cheap, um, says Pete. And start gathering materials. I, um, You were talking about the Gardunia Mountains. I posted up a video on our YouTube channel of camper camping. Have you been there yet? The um, campsite. It's great. If you ever, if you ever want some company and, and have a bit of a meetup and a dance, uh, often at the weekend, they have a bit of a pizza night, a get together. A Where is it? Al Padrina. Ah. Um, yes. It's really, really, really nice place. And I think there are it's, some. It's close by. It's yeah, it is. 20, 20 minutes drive from my house. Right under the Gardunia Mountains, and um, we posted up a video of that because uh, we stayed there a long time ago, but it took me that long to post the video up. Start gathering materials. Now, at Camper Camping, they were chopping the, the canna, you know, the great big bamboo-type plant, the invasive plant in Portugal that you see everywhere. Mm -hmm. and they, they made some roofing with, with the, the canna. Um, for, you know, from a, for a sunshade, I don't, I, don't, I don't suppose it's very yeah. useful, permanent. But you could give yourself some shade from the sun with some uh, cut canna. Um, Bev's in. Sorry, were you going to add something there, Matty? Sorry? I thought you were going to chip in with something there. No, don't worry. I have to rebuild. Well, I'm, the I'm, I'm, I've, I was told about the roof that the, the quickest and cheapest and fastest, uh, quick and fast, same, uh, way would be sandwich panels. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to look into that. I will... Go around checking prices, and I also will go to a place in Spain yeah. for their prices. Um, as I'm been told, they're much cheaper, and they deliver. So, very good. Yeah, the sandwich panels can can be a, a quick solution, uh, and fairly easy to install for the amateur. I think as well. Uh, no disrespect intended. Well, I, have, I have a friend that that used to be a roofer, and he said he would help me. Fantastic. Um, the weighing also involved in a build rather than a, a renovation. I have to rebuild dry stone walls after my house is finished. I thought I could do it myself, but realization starts to kick in. Uh, awesome job on the wall. Let's have another quick look at that then from uh, Louise. No, Actually, that's wrong, wrong one. Uh, that, <laughs> there you go. There's the, uh, the that is a great job. Flipping yeah, it looks, looks good. Looks good. Uh, and they did it themselves, Matty. Not, not, not only it, does it look good, but um, Paul and Louise, I think, did that themselves. Talk of um, Gary's onions here. What can you say about... Um, have they been stripping off in the uh, man cave again? What's going on here? I don't know. No, okay, you must have missed that one. Anyone who watched it will have not missed Gary's onions by the sound of it, though. Wow, says Soli Finesse. She'd like a few of those tomatoes, I think. Built the wall ourselves garbo's massive onions they are legendary around al viagra of course they would be more than 50 municipalities seven districts in the maximum level of fire risk today so be careful out there download fogosh.pt have you cleared your land matty yeah i um, mean that, that's why the sheeps are on my land very good uh my hand uh could have, oh it was it was a, a grown-up's hand What's the trick? A bit of trick photography there. I've maybe, got... maybe if I if I can't do much on my land, maybe I have to head over to Pete's and help shoveling. Yes, shoveling, build up those muscles, shoveling the old uh, excrement. Of, I don't know what what which species d delivered it, uh, Pete. Does maybe it matter? We... It doesn't really, does it? <laughs> No, probably not. I have three zucchini plants. I'm amazed at how many zucchinis I got from them. Yeah, you have to uh, you have to start thinking of recipes, don't you, for both the tomatoes and the zucchinis or courgettes, as we uh, Brits call them. Anti-embarrassment pro bathing trunks. Um, it's not PR. It's pants. It definitely is PR. Um, is the PR the start of Prowler costume? <laughs> I like a cabbage ball. Not connected. Um, news just in <laughs> yesterday's police raids against a, an Asian criminal group. Illegal immigration resulted in at least six suspects detained. News from the capital. They are, of course, anti embarrassment proboscis pants. Mystery solved. Thank you. Sarah's in um, with a born deer. And thank you, Andrew. The heaviest Curacao tomato this year has been what? 677 grams. You could just you could just put a spoon into it, couldn't you, and scoop out all that goodness. One tomato soup for two. Fantastic there. 
And yeah. um, Lord Gilchrist loving the work, aren't the tomatoes delicious? Here? They are like everything in Portugal. They have gone up, they've turned flavor up to 11 on the flavorometer. Um, you're doing great, Matty. Here's some encouragement for you. Take your time, mate. Make a list of all the jobs, prioritize and organize them in order of importance you'd like to achieve. Well, you've already done that. You, you, you know, you are a project manager. Oh, it's in the head, is it? It's not on a spreadsheet. Can you hold all that information in your head? Yeah. Wow, okay. Um, this year, good potatoes, onions, French beans. It's a real grow your own episode this morning. We love to see this. Um, onions, French beans, roses, roses. Uh, tomatoes, lettuce seem to have struggled with brassicas, uh, strangely. Um, but the strawberries have been stars of the show. That box of veggie brought to me and the wine, which you've enjoyed. I'm hoping to speak to Jason in a little while. Was fantastic. Cheers, Garvo. Bon dia, Garvo, says uh, Antonio. And Gary Austin, it's so different here. All of our veg has done really well. We have enough cucumbers to keep a convent happy. I don't know what he's talking about. Um, totally, they, love, maybe they, love, talking about. <laughs> they love salad, obviously. The nuns love a bit of salad. Um, totally agree, Gary. Same here on all counts. Pepinos have been bountiful, and the pimentos are just ripening. You see, they're learning their Portuguese as well. Bon dia, Gary. Uh, missed you at the after. They have an after cave as well as the man cave, do they? Yeah, there's a pre cave, there's the man cave show, and then there's the after cave. Really? I mean, yep. God knows what levels of debauchery it reaches at the after cave. Well, it's, it's stuff that can go live, and that's but, not I mean, a lot. Exactly. Um, the cave nursery, we are two years this Friday, and the whole span of them, the man cave, must be getting on for four years, mustn't it? Amazing stuff. Well done, Lord Gilchrist. And all the man cavers. My neighbours have two black cats. Oh, another Oliver there. Pantero, the panther and Oliver. We started off with two cats. We know what happens after that uh, that adopted us. We called uh, uh, the Chaz and Dave. Called them Chaz and Dave. But when they both gave birth to kittens, they had to be renamed. <laughs> Basic biology there, Garvo. Carl, I just sent a couple of final images from the holiday adventures. Cheers. I might put those together with some of your other images. But amazing stuff. Um, he's been over to your uh, native Germany to his namesake village of Heimbach. Oh, and we've had it was lovely to see the crusties at the weekend. They've invited us over to Germany as well. I've got to visit Germany. Do you know what, Matty? It's never occurred to me to visit Germany for a holiday. But with recent video from John and um, uncle and auntie Krusty visiting at the weekend, um, uh, inviting us there, it is a great place to go for a holiday by the look of it. Germany, isn't it? Yeah, it's, all, it's, it's a great place to live there too. It's just. I prefer the sun, so okay. I, yeah. had to, I had to come to Portugal. Fair point, fair point. You can't make roux that are sandwiches. Uh, can if you use can be useful if you want a quick snack. That is a terrible construction-based dad joke. And so you're not getting one of these for that, Gary. Um, Matty Kanish are the reeds in English, the Schilf in German, according to yeah. you. Does that make sense? Looks like yeah. bamboo. I mean, they're everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have, I have, I even have it on my land. There's nowhere in Portugal that doesn't have it, basically. And well, if you... yes, there are, there are places that don't have water that don't have it. I think those bad boys grow. I mean, you know, they, they burn and then they come straight back again. Yeah, right? but they, they, they grow where water is. They don't grow. Okay. All right. You wouldn't believe how difficult it is to organize a solar system for a new build. You want them to come in and plan cable runs, etc., during the build, but they want to come after. Oh dear. Uh, Carpe diem, the dry stone walls from experience, start small, then expand. Again, another interesting reference to the to nature there. Start small and expand. <laughs> Carl, you do know, don't you, that all cats must have three names. What? I didn't know this. One is, that is familiar, one that is particular, and one they, they only know themselves. I didn't know that. Uh, more of a dog person, but this comes from... T.S. Eliot's 1939 poetry book of old possums, book of practical cats. In this case, the poem, The Naming of Cats. Thank you very much. Another cane to be here. Stephen Wells. Yes, I've got a picture to send to you of my new tea towel holders, Stephen. Uh, most of the, their stuff on the man cave should not go live. You're absolutely right. Suze is in as well. Morning, Suze. I like the clothesline. Cheers, Suze. I thought you might. And Carl. Uh, we get big beef tomatoes, slice the top off. Here we go. Serving suggestion. Scoop out the inside. Make a salsa, tomato, garlic, lamb, lemon, parsley, rock salt, olive oil. Put back, mix into the tomato. Beautiful. That does sound great, actually. Thank you for that. I'm going to have to screenshot that. Hold on a minute, Matty. So, Matty, anything else uh, before you leave us today and make way for the Jason this morning? 
no i i gonna like i said i gonna head to uh, to my property today and see what i can do yeah what i can what i can film for for this week's video and um yeah i have to check the the website what um regarding the fire risk if i can use the streamer or not or ah yes of course yeah and uh, remember to yes. take the keys remember to take the keys today man. yeah the keys are already in the in the car i won't forget them all right just I'm... finally then just finally um are you tired of being productive a productive mentally stable member of society <laughs> than becoming a parent he's got enough on his plate that joke one barely raised a smile there let's see if we can do better with this and let's see what happens at the intersection of American and German humor. If there was a pill to cure procrastination, I would probably take it tomorrow. I don't know what procrastination is. Oh, uh, just one more to go. This is like rounders. You've got to hit this one. Don't ask, don't tell is my policy for the bath bathroom scale. Yeah, he, he probably doesn't have a talking scale. <laughs> All right, I've got a bonus one. If people from Poland get Polaroids, do you, I'm going to ask you if you know what these are in just a minute. If people from Poland get Polaroids, do people from Hem or Hempstead get hemorrhoids? Probably. <laughs> Probably. That was disastrous, quite frankly. Matty, always great fun talking to you. Love to the girlfriend of dogs and to your your beloved land that we wish you all the best with. Bus sorts with that. Thank you. And uh, we're here for you. Ever, if ever you need moral support, at least, if not physical help, we're here um, as, as a shoulder to cry on or cheerleaders saying, go, Manny, uh, on to Agwash. Yeah. Thank you and uh, have, a, have a great week, everyone. Stay healthy and happy. Cheers, that's mate. All, that's all you need. The rest is a bonus. Looking, yeah, well said. And, and uh, looking forward to your next update, mate. Take care. Bye for now. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. See ya. There he goes. The Maddy Man. Uh, love that guy. And wishing him well at Entourage there. Um, more, is there some more talk of wheelie bins? Are there dad jokes? 